Hello, my beautiful soul family. Welcome to my channel, Soul Light Ascension. Thank you, beautiful souls, for joining me here today. If you guys are new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe. I would love for you guys to join me here on my channel. I offer collective oracle readings, and I am going to be teaching astrology on this channel, you guys. And I also work as a psychic advisor and a spiritual teacher. So if you're interested in a psychic reading, please drop me a comment and let me know. You can also email me at starlightpriestess at, yahoo, at yahoo.com to schedule your reading with me, you guys. I do have open availability for psychic readings throughout November. So if you're interested, I do offer 30-minute sessions and one-hour sessions, as well as questions we can ask spirit for you and oracle messages we can pull. So I will leave all the psychic services in the comments below for you guys to check out, okay? So please like this video, you guys. Give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe here if you're new. I would love for you to join us and drop me a comment below if the messages today resonate for you. So happy Halloween, you guys. I hope you're having a beautiful, blessed day. I wanna get into this very powerful, magical oracle reading for you guys. I have three messages that are coming through from Spirit, okay? And since it is Halloween, you guys, I wanted to use my Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck for you guys. And there was three that came out for the collective whole. And this is going to be for all zodiac signs. So no matter what zodiac sign you are, it does not matter. This is a collective reading, you guys. So it'll resonate for all of you guys. I know all of us are in different you know, vibrational frequencies. We're all in different pathways in our lives. We're all dealing with different circumstances, but somehow these messages will resonate for some aspect, whether it's your love life, career, job, uh, money, finances, okay? So take it as it resonates, but we are using this very powerful Halloween themed Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck for you guys today. So let's get into this powerful energy, you guys. I'm really excited. I love Halloween. This is my favorite time of the year. This is the time of year, you guys, where the veil is very thin between the physical and the spiritual world. So a lot of you guys are going to receive very powerful downloads from spirit. A lot of you guys, if you have passed over loved ones, a lot of them are coming, visiting you. Okay, you may feel like an angelic presence around you or feel loved ones around you during this time because the veil is very thin between the worlds, you guys. So it's also a powerful time for manifestation and doing powerful manifestation rituals or spell work, however you guys do that. You could do candle work at this time or simply prayers and positive affirmations to help you manifest your dreams and desires into reality because this powerful 111 portal that is opening tomorrow on November 1st with the new moon in Scorpio is bringing in powerful energies of magical manifestations. A lot of you guys are trying to manifest your dream job or maybe your dream relationship or marriage or commitment. Okay, but I am picking up this very powerful like Neptunian energy, you guys, like this watery depth, illusionary kind of energy, but it's very positive. I feel a lot of magic and transmuting energies at this time. So a lot of you guys in the collective are doing shadow work. You're focusing on healing yourself, loving and nurturing yourself at this time, which is absolutely beautiful because that is exactly what we need to be doing, you guys, is focusing on our self-worth, our value, nurturing and loving ourselves, and showing up in our true, authentic being, okay? So very powerful energies, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful energies are streaming in, and this powerful, magical, transformative new moon in Scorpio is bringing in new, successful beginnings and helping you to manifest your dreams into reality, okay? And Scorpio represents the eighth house of death, rebirth, and transformation. And it represents the, the planet Pluto, which represents the underworld, where a lot of you guys collectively are gonna be delving deeper into your soul. You're gonna be revealing you know, different sides of yourself. There's gonna be a lot of shadow energies that are coming out of you that need to be released and transmuted once and for all so you can come into this new, higher version of yourself, okay? So beautiful energies, you guys. I love this. Let's go ahead and jump in really quick. Um, so the overall energy that is coming through and coming out for you guys first 
is the queen of potions. Yes. And this represents the queen of cups and the tarot, which would be the astrological zodiac signs of Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So many of you guys watching my video may be a water sign, or you could have been dealing with a water sign in a past relationship, or this is just an energy, you guys, of really uh, getting in tune with your emotions, your intuition, delving deeper, like I said, into your, your soul, you know, uncovering the light and the darkness within yourself. I feel like you guys are doing this like alchemical, uh, how do I call it? Like I'm kind of picking up an alchemical process where you guys are transmuting lower level emotional thoughts and feelings. You're transmuting energies. You're doing shadow work and a lot of healing on yourself. And you're coming into like a higher, newer version of who it is you're meant to be in this lifetime, okay? But the Queen of Cups is a very magical, intuitive kind of divine feminine energy. And it doesn't matter. You could be a divine masculine or a divine feminine watching, and this may resonate. But the Queen of Cups is a very magical woman, very like divine feminine energy. Um, someone who is really in tune with their emotions. They follow their intuition, okay? That is the kind of vibe that I'm getting with this energy, you guys. And I feel like there's been a lot that you've gone through in your past that you're alchem alchemizing. Alchemizing. <laughs> I'm like, how can I not say this word right right now? Alchemizing. So I'm getting you guys are alchemizing your emotions at this time. You're releasing past emotions, heartbreak, feelings of betrayal, feelings of not feeling worthy of love or not deserving. A lot of this is being released and transmuted as you're healing yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and read the Queen of Potions for you guys, and we'll see what Spirit is saying with this energy, okay? Oh my goodness, you guys, powerful emotional energies I'm picking up. And I feel like a lot of this has to do with your love life or a relationship that you're currently in or a relationship that you got out of. So there, cause I was also seeing the 10 of swords that wanted to come out for you guys, but it didn't quite come out. And I feel like there was some kind of an ending of a relationship in your life that may have brought you a lot of heartache and pain, suffering where you had to over overcome trauma, maybe overcome codependency issues or woundings, okay? And now you're getting closer in your emotional energy. Like you're you're really connecting with your intuition, your emotions, okay? So let's look at this queen of potions, you guys. Wow, very powerful energy I'm picking up. So let's see what spirit is saying. Okay, potions. So the queen of potions, this queen of cups energy is saying for you guys, the Queen of Potions is a calm, cool, and caring gal who's motivated by compassion. She moves with grace and control through troubled waters. Sometimes this card can also be a sign to listen to your intuition. You're more perceptive and capable than you think. So a lot of you guys, I'm also hearing spirits say, I'm channeling that your emotions may be getting in the way of you taking action towards what it is that you want, what it is you want to manifest, what you desire at this time. And spirit is saying, don't let your emotions get in the way. This is a time to be more logical. You want to follow your intuition and be in tune, but don't let your emotions get in the way where they're clouding your vision or they're stopping you from moving forward in a new direction for yourself is what I'm hearing. Okay. So a lot of you guys are really intuitive. You may be spiritual healers, teachers, empaths. I'm really picking up that empath energy. You may feel energies around you and kind of absorb other people around you and your environment. So it's really important that you set healthy boundaries, you guys, between you and others at this time. Make sure you're focusing on rest, regenerating yourself, you know, really, really understanding what it is that you're feeling and being aware of your emotions at this time, but also balancing your logic and your emotion and moving towards a new beginning in your life, a new cycle of what it is that you truly desire, okay? So so this queen of potions is a very powerful energy and a lot of you guys are moving with grace and control through the troubled waters that you're going through. And like I said, I did see that 10 of swords energy, which represents 
heartbreak, lies, deception. It represents an ending of a karmic relationship or ending of a job, some kind of loss that you guys experienced um, in your life. You're moving through that energy very powerfully at this time, and you're moving through emotions that you're going through. You're focusing on healing and transmuting these emotions so you can move into a new cycle of your life, okay? Now, after the Queen of Potions, I love this for you guys. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is a very powerful, very abundant card. It represents a new cycle opening up for you guys, your brand new beginning that is coming in. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. So this is a very positive turnaround that is happening in your life. And when you get the will of fortune, there's a lot of money, abundance, and spiritual blessings that are coming into your life, you guys. So this is a really great message for you. So let's look at the will of fortune, this new successful cycle that is coming in, and we'll see what spirit is saying with this message. Wow, I love when the Wheel of Fortune comes out. So there has been a closing out of a chapter, a closing out of a karmic cycle, and you guys have graduated, and now you're moving into this Wheel of Fortune energy where now you're able to manifest and attract new opportunities in your life, whether this is a new love, a new job opportunity, a new career, starting your own business, okay? There's something that you desire on an emotional level that's gonna bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment and happiness and it's coming you guys in the month of november with that 111 portal we have this will of fortune energy coming out where this new successful beginning is coming in and you guys deserve it i'm hearing spirits say that you've worked so hard for this and you've healed and you transmuted energy and you've closed out cycles in your life and now you're ready for money abundance blessings, new opportunities for work and career and love. So this is very powerful for you guys. Okay, so let's read this Wheel of Fortune. Okay, you guys, so the Wheel of Fortune is saying for you guys in the collective, like Oogie Boogie's Roulette Wheel, the Wheel of Fortune is all about chances. This card represents major life changes and shifts in luck. Yeah, so a lot of you guys with that Queen of Cups energy, whatever you are healing, whatever energies from the past that, you know, where you felt heartbroken or deceived or betrayed, or you just felt like, you know, people didn't appreciate you. Maybe people were undervaluing you. They didn't see your self-worth, okay? You guys are healing that energy and you're really coming into a major spiritual awakening and you're more in tune on an emotional level and you're highly intuitive. I'm hearing spirits say that your psychic ability and gifts are really like picking up momentum. Like there's new psychic abilities that are coming online and new emotional gifts that are very powerful that you're gonna be sharing with the world around you, okay? So this is like a major life shift that is coming in for you guys and it represents a major shift in luck. So there's good luck and fortune that is turning in your favor with the wheel of fortune, okay? For some of you guys, this wealth and abundance that's coming in, it could be like a new, abundant relationship where someone is offering you commitment or marriage or just a long-term relationship you know where they're very committed to you and there's an equal give and take in the relationship and for others of you that are not focused on love this is a new job a new career opportunity something that is very life shifting that is going to happen for you okay so this is a very powerful message you guys i love this will of fortune so you have reached a turning point in your life the moment when the storm clouds part the sun comes out and your luck begins to change now may be the time to make a big move whether you switch careers begin a new romance jumpstart lifestyle shifts or relocate across the country you'll have good fortune on your side Wow, you guys, a very powerful message from Spirit. So remember, it depends on what it is that you're trying to manifest in your life. You have to become very clear about what it is that you want and what it is that you desire to come in at this time, okay? So during this 111 manifestation portal, do manifestation rituals, do maybe do candle work. Some people do candle work, setting positive intentions speaking out loud what it is that you want and desire to come into your life. 
it's a very powerful portal of meta manifestation with this 111 portal. So many of you guys have something that is really shifting in your life in a very positive direction with that wheel of fortune. And for some, it's moving across the country, it's relocating or traveling, it's a new love or a new job or career opportunity that is coming in and it's gonna make you guys very happy and it's putting you into your higher purpose and soul's calling. So this is absolutely beautiful with this wheel of fortune, you guys. So you have good fortune on your side so spirit is saying there's nothing to worry about you know make sure you're keeping your mind very positive at this time you're setting pure positive intentions towards what it is that you want and what it is that you want to manifest that's going to be really important to have a positive mindset okay now the last message coming out for you guys is the world which represents the number 10 so many of you guys could be seeing the angel number 10 10 you may be seeing 111 with the Wheel of Fortune, that is also a number 10. So there's a major completion of a cycle, you guys. You have closed the door on a cycle in your life that is being completed, and it represents a graduation of the soul. So congratulations, you've, you guys, you've done a wonderful job. You know, you've closed out a door, a cycle in your life where there was things that you were dealing with, whether it was a job, a relationship, you know, a family dynamic, a friendship. There was some sort of toxic karmic relationship or situation that you were dealing with and you learned the karmic lessons. You gained the spiritual insight and knowledge and now you have that wisdom that you're integrating in this new cycle of your soul's evolutionary journey. So you are totally shifting directions in your life, you guys. Like I said, some of you are moving across the country. You may be moving to a new state, a new country. You may be relocating or traveling, or you guys are making major shifts in your career by getting a new job opportunity, um, maybe changing careers completely and doing something brand new. And then for others of you, this could be a new relationship coming into your life, okay? And now we have the world, the completion. This is an ending and a brand new beginning that is coming in for you guys. So this is beautiful. Let's look at the world and we'll see what Spirit is saying. Very powerful energy, wow. We got some major things coming in November, you guys. And it's not just this whole 111 portal. I mean, we are shifting completely on a soul level. You guys are coming into soul alignment within yourself. You're becoming more whole and complete within yourself because you have done so much healing work over the months or over the years. You've worked on yourself. You've been in solitude. You have felt lonely. You have felt abandoned. You have felt emotionally neglected, many of you guys. Now that you've done the healing work, the shadow work, you know your self-worth and value, you're taking back your power and sovereignty, and you guys are moving forward in a new higher purpose and higher direction in your life. So this is very magical and very transformative for you guys, okay? So the world is saying... And the world comes after judgment and the tarot, okay? So the world is saying for you guys in the collective... The world represents the completion of a long, life-changing adventure. Whether this journey has taken you to magical new places or you've been on a more personal self-discovery internal adventure, you've come out on top. Congratulations. So you guys have reached a completion, a graduation, where you no longer need to learn those karmic lessons. You will no longer repeat those toxic cycles that you were in, whether it was your own self-sabotaging behavior patterns, negative thoughts, programming, conditioned ways of thinking, low self-worth, not valuing yourself. It could have just even been toxic karmic relationships or people that were in your life that were limiting you from being the person that you were meant to be in this lifetime, okay? All of this is being released and transmuted. This is the completion of your journey. And now you're stepping into a new adventure in your life. So congratulations. You guys have come out on top. You learned very powerful karmic lessons. And now you're ready for this new cycle of your journey. You've done it. You've come so far, been through so much, and le learned so many powerful lessons along the way. 
you're feeling satisfied, happy, and whole, consider sharing your experiences with others. You have the ability to inspire people. Yes, and I've been picking that up, you guys, in my collective readings that I've been doing. You guys have done so much work. You've learned so much lessons in that last cycle that you were in that now you're feeling on top of the world or you will be very soon, you guys. Okay, and now Spirit is asking you to use what you've learned, that wisdom and knowledge that you've gained um, and what you've overcome, you can use this powerful knowledge and wisdom in this new cycle to help inspire other people. And if people are going through similar challenges that you went through and they're going through things that you've overcome, you can actually serve as a light worker, a coach, a spiritual teacher, or use those abilities of what you've learned and what you've gained to help these people in need, to help them overcome the challenges that they're going through. So I am hearing Spirit say that for many of you guys collectively, you are stepping into some sort of a leadership role, okay? You're gonna be taking on the role of a spiritual teacher, a healer, a light worker, maybe becoming a public figure, uh, a social media influencer where you're speaking your truth and you're expressing yourself, you're expressing your knowledge, everything that you've learned, the wisdom that you've gained, and you're sharing this with the world around you. You're spreading light and love into the world, you guys. So there's no better energy than that. That is absolutely amazing for you guys with that world card, okay? So use what you've gained, the knowledge, the insights that you've gained, Use this, you guys, to share your abilities and gifts with the world and help inspire the world. It all starts with us. We have to be the change. We have to be the inspiring leader and light worker in the world so we can help people to feel comfortable with being their true, authentic self and sharing their gifts and abilities with others, okay? So you guys are powerful light workers and spiritual teachers and leaders, and spirit wants you to know that you're doing an amazing job, okay? So I'm gonna get one last message for you guys, and we'll see what spirit wants you to know from my Moonology Oracle card deck, okay? So let's grab one Moonology message for you guys, and please feel free to drop me a comment below if these messages resonate for you today. Also, like this video, you guys. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it, okay? All right, let's get one last message for Halloween. Let us see, let's see what's coming through for you guys in the collective. All right, and I wanted to use my Moonology Oracle cards, you guys, because we have a powerful new moon in Scorpio tomorrow on this 111 portal. So the new moons represent new beginnings, starting over at a clean slate. You guys are receiving some of you new job opportunities. You're moving forward in a whole new direction. You're, you're changing your life completely in some way, whether it's relocating, moving to a new home, changing careers, new relationship, new love, okay? So however that resonates for you, feel free to share with me, you guys, in the comments, okay? So let's see what the Moonology message is. All right, drum roll, you guys. Let's see what's going on. Holy angels and spirit guides, what is the Moonology Oracle message for the collective whole, please, for today, October 31st? Ooh, what is the Moonology Oracle message spirit for the collective whole for today, October 31st, 2024? I think a lot of you guys have new romantic cycles, new romantic partners coming into your life, or it could even be a reconciliation. Hold on, you guys. Let me fill it. I got to fill, fill it out a little bit. Holy angels, what is the, we have time to take action, the new moon in Aries, but I feel like there's something else, you guys. Let me see. What is the Moonology Oracle message, please, for the collective whole for today, October 31st, 2024? Please and thank you, Spirit. What is the message the collective needs to know for today, October 31st, 2024? Please and thank you, Spirit. Mm, let's see what it is, you guys. Ooh, I'm so excited to see what comes out. What is the message, please, Spirit, for the collective with this Halloween and 111 portal? What is the message for the collective whole for today, October 31st, 2024? 
please and thank you spirit wow there's a lot coming out there's a lot trying to come out i just want one message spirit what is the moonology oracle message please for the collective at this time for october 31st 2024 please and thank you Powerful energies I'm picking up, you guys. A lot of you guys, too. Yep, I'm seeing the North Node. Yep, that's the one, you guys. Let me see if there's one more that comes out. I don't want my video to be too long, but we have the North Node coming out. Step out of your comfort zone because in this new cycle with that Wheel of Fortune that came out for you guys, you are stepping into a new successful beginning, a brand new adventure, a new journey ahead because you've already completed that karmic cycle. You closed out that chapter and now you're moving moving into a brand new beginning. So you're moving into your north node, which represents your higher calling and soul's purpose in this lifetime. This is going to show up as a new job, a new career for some of you guys, maybe taking on a leadership position at your job or career that you're in. And for others of you, it's starting your own business and becoming like self-made is what I'm hearing spirit say. Okay. So let's get one more message. <laughs> Yeah, that one feels right. We got some Libra energy coming through. And what's funny, you guys, is for Halloween, the moon is in Libra on Halloween today. And we have Libra that came out here. So the full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. So we're going to read that one, you guys, and see what it says. The North Node is just representing this higher purpose that you guys are moving into. And it's coming through the form of a new job, a new career opportunity, starting your own business or stepping up in some sort of a leadership position. It could also be moving or relocating to another country, city, or state, okay? Take that as it resonates, you guys. So the full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecast. Something in your life is coming back into balance. Libra does have to do with business partnerships and relationships. So for some of you guys, you're coming into a new business partnership or venture, a new career opportunity that you're going to be very happy and excited about. And for others of you, this win-win outcome has to do with a relationship that's going to come into balance in your life, okay? So full moon in Libra. Okay, so this is saying for you guys in the collective, the full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing one is coming. Oh, it's changing somehow. Okay, so there's either a new relationship coming into your life or there's an important existing relationship that is changing somehow, perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. So Spirit is saying to let go of something that is falling away. This could be an old relationship that you're closing out. You may still be healing from this connection. And Spirit is saying now is the right time to release this person and let them go. For others of you, there's a new relationship coming into your life or a business partnership, okay? So they're saying it's time for you to make a firm decision, time for you to focus on yourself for a while, look after yourself but avoid vanity, and now is a great time for a makeover. I love that, you guys. What a powerful message. So something is coming back into balance in your life, whether that's a relationship coming back into harmony and balance, a new love coming into your life, or this is a new business partnership for you guys, okay? But you are stepping into your north node, which is destiny. This is you guys moving into your higher purpose and soul's calling in this lifetime. So you are on the right path and you have beautiful new opportunities coming your way. Thank you guys so much for joining me here on Soul Light Ascension. 
please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Like this video, you guys, and drop me a comment below if this resonates for you. And if you would like a psychic reading, I will leave all my psychic services below in the comments so you guys can choose which one you like and reach out to me in the comments or you can email me at starlightpriestess at yahoo.com. All right, you guys, have a wonderful Halloween. I'm sending you so much love and light. I will see you soon in my next collective reading. Namaste.